Fellas, we talked about the Steve thing. You guys saw the Steve band. That, we did that like three times, and you clicked on it every single time. But Steve's not even that strong. And we haven't even talked about Kazuya. How strong is Kazuya? That's what we're going to find out. These are the top 10 most powerful fighting game characters. Kazuya is literally on the video as soon as I open it up. If he's not number one, I don't want to see a single tweet about this. If he's not number one, you can never complain again. Number Surely nine, there's a way. Kratos. <laughs> what is PlayStation this? PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Bro, I wish this game was good. You know all the hype that comes out every time there's a new, like, fighting game or platform fighter, whether it's Nickelodeon or Multiverses or whatever? This game had so much f***ing hype. And then it comes out, I played one game ever. I played it once and I, I, I sold it on eBay. One of the worst games I've ever played. Does Kratos count as, as a fighting game character? Yes. That feels this disingenuous. Is a odd choice at first He's an MK9? Is he? Kratos... I don't want to see Kratos actually kill someone. That's such a stupid thing to say. He was brutal in his games. I feel like in the God of War games, him killing people was more like cartoonish. But in Mortal Kombat, he's killing actual people. I don't know why that's different to me. Like, if he's killing mythical beings, that's different than, like, Kano, who's just a fucking man. That's a Number lot seven, of colors. Galeem has <laughs> dark on. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, I guess so. They're basically God and the Devil, I think. No one played this shit? Yes, they did. Everybody wanted to change the, the title screen song. There was How do you even judge them? On who is the most powerful Smash character? Probably Taboo. Taboo. Giga Bowser, The Hands, Master Core. Ultimately, we decided Who's on Master Gleam Core? and Darkon. Every single character got decimated just by Galeem's beams of light. On top of that, two of the game's endings show what happens when one of them lives on without the other. There were two different endings? I don't remember that. There are three endings? What? Number six, Parasi Lysia. I don't remember Arcana any of that. Art series. And I beat the fucking game. It was my job. Skip this? <laughs> Why? This is not a goddess to fawn over. Do not show was... any love for this blasphemous, manipulative, cheating hag of a final boss. This guy Parasi hates Lysia this woman. Is Wait, what is, is this a thing in, in, in Melty Blood? Is this Melty Blood? I wasn't paying attention. Is this Arcana Heart? They have an Arca It's Arcana Heart. Whatever, it's anime fighters. What is going on here? Is this not enough for you? Oh, and she can stop the fight. Do you need this shit on the side too? And Have some health. shame. Have Powerful? some dignity. Oh, completely. Why is it all it, over the street? There's no the escape from this. And we I hope Street Fighter puts all these games out of business. Number three, Kazuya Mishima. Number three, you say? Hmm. Well, well, well. Doesn't seem that strong to me. Although he is stronger than like eight devils. <laughs> and and literally a god who killed every other god. He's also a devil. Yeah, but he's not the devil. Despite everyone in his family he trying so to stop cool. him, including his wife June, Kazuya has managed to survive every attack. I'm so sad fail. that every Kazuya Some player uses the Heihachi like has the suit. Worse. I don't like but the you suit. you know what Daddy Kazuya has that Grandpa I love this Mishima outfit, doesn't? Dude. That accursed devil gene and the power <laughs> Kazuya gains He's from missing that the is gene. enough to make him the most powerful. That wasn't Kazuya. In... That's the other guy. <laughs> Fang? Is that Fang? That's his name. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I'm pretty sure I played this guy in Tekken 5 or whatever it was. Most That's definitely not Kazuya. In Tekken. What the fuck? I thought you could slip that one past me. Okay. So number two, Liu Kang. Mortal Kombat. Isn't Liu series. Kang just a fucking guy? Aiden, stop this. Liu stop Kang is just like a you. When thinking of the most I, I thought that was Mortal his whole Kombat point. He's just an everyman. We'd probably put Shao Kahn. Shang Tsung or Raiden at this spot. But yeah. that's in another timeline now, thanks to Mortal Kombat 11. Before facing Kronika, Raiden bestows his powers onto Liu Kang, turning what? him into a fire god. With Kronika defeated, oh. Liu Kang wields Kronika's crown, making him the new keeper of time. What? So not only does he possess the what same the power fuck? as his master, but I... now he can easily erase your existence without question. I thought Liu Kang was a zombie now. Did you not play MK11? I did. I didn't play the story. I just went on light and played Kano. <laughs> I did the flip move. I love Kano. Okay, so he's he's magical now. He's a magical zombie. 
Number one is Rugal. Number one is... It's not Kirby. Kirby is not a fighting game character. Seth. Right? Isn't Seth, like... Does he need, Before like, we continue, bend be sure to DNA or something? Or Gil? On okay, it's Seth or Gil. Seth or Gil. Number one, Akuma. What? He's a fuck. He has no health. What's Akuma's deal? Transcended humanity, huh? You lack discipline. That's Even what he sounds like. There, Seth. See, it should have been him. Gods. Bro has Akuma a fucking yin yang in his tummy. Most powerful fighting game character. He's so strong. Of all time. Look how ripped you know he is. Why? He is literally the devil. Oh, he's the fucking devil. He's the devil? Oh. Is like that of a devil. Oh, Akuma he's the has devil. Utilized then. Okay. Powers beyond All right. Even M. Bison's comprehension. <laughs> We've seen Akuma's potential across Street Fighter, the Capcom versus games. Why is everybody? And even there are so many devils the on this list. Well, hey, Kazuya is number three, which makes him still pretty strong. Which means that paying five ninety nine to be stronger in a game is a pretty good investment. Especially when you compare against the top 10 overpriced items in online games. Number 10, Blue Party Hat, <laughs> RuneScape. This music. It's nice. astonishing that a game like RuneScape has gone on for as long as it has. I feel like this game was a certain generation that I just totally missed. I had never played a single game of RuneScape and I'm kind of thankful for it. Because everybody that I've talked to that plays a fuck ton of it says that it like altered the trajectory of their life in a bad way. Like, they just grinded the shit out of this through adolescence. One elusively Poor man's wow? expensive well, item in the game it's is literally the blue free. party hat. A basic crown in a very basic shade of blue that was only available $500. during a holiday event all the way back in 2001. 500 And in 2021, someone bought it for $6,700. Oh God. We're only getting started on these ridiculous trades. Oh my God, dude. Number nine, Revenant Supercarrier. Eve oh, online. dude, this game is absurd. Haven't, I think, like, Fortune 500 companies have, like, hired people from EVE Online. Like, I'm pretty sure that the people who maintain spreadsheets and logistics and financials in EVE Online, like, it's an actual job that you have to do. This game One is of the nonsense. Most surprising aspects of what EVE the fuck Online is going is how on? The community functions and treats the game like a second life, documenting conflicts and, of course, paying chunks of change for virtual goods. The most expensive item it's in very the game, pretty. however, is the Revenant Supercarrier. For a mere $9,000, this ship can be yours and paint you as a big target for pirate players. Can't people just blow up your ship? Yeah, I was gonna say, can't people just like by two fuck with you constantly? Players, Pandemic Legion and Test. Best be aware of what you're getting into. Honestly, though, when if you go all shit. in with people, it's not that bad, right? They're like big guilds of people. Everybody pitches in. Number four. Make it specific. Imperial Flames Pink War Dog. Only one of them has been named by Guinness World Records as the most expensive item in Dota 2. <laughs> Okay, but that's not that's not all that impressive if it's in the one Ethereal specific Flames game. The Pink War Dog sold at an auction for thirty-eight thousand dollars. What exactly was so special about this item? You may be asking. Thirty-eight well, thousand. It's supposedly extremely hard to get, and that's pretty much it. All it does is transport items from shop to player, nothing more. That's a semester of college. You could change your life with that Number money. Number three. Amsterdam, Second Life. <laughs> All of it? The most expensive <laughs> sale in the entire game, though, was for the virtual city known as Amsterdam. This game looks like shit. Why would anybody... Wait, you could do this? What the fuck is even going on here? I can't... This city has... It makes There's a whack-a-mole out in the middle of the park. There's a bunch of logs. There's like a hobo fire. There's Jeopardy on the left. Before you ask, yes, this is essentially a virtual recreation of the capital city of the Netherlands and includes the infamous red light district. Oh. And it was sold on eBay in 2007. That's How what it honorable. is. The lucky buyer only had to fork over $50,000 for the virtual city to be theirs. I feel like though 50K for Amsterdam is not that bad because everybody's going to want to go there and in Second Life, you could probably make mad money. That's probably not that bad. You could make all that back. It's a good investment. Not like this bullshit. This is stupid. 
The souvenir AWP it does Dragon look good, though. sniper skin is a pricey cosmetic more tailored to those ingrained in Counter-Strike's esports scene, though. 65k. Uh -huh. How much do you need to pay to bypass the 65K. randomized loot boxes? Well, one sold in 2018 for roughly $61,000. I Best overshot it. Saving. Damn. Rats. Wait, so what's number one? People in chat were saying Roblox items have been selling for 3.5 million. I don't believe you. Actually, yes, I do. Never mind. I do believe you. I feel like a, a, a rich kid, with how popular Roblox is, there's definitely a, a rich kid out there who begged their dad for it. And their dad is like an, an oil baron or something. I actually think that's true. Which Not even a rich kid? A grown man? Well, then that's just Number investment. One, too much crap. Entropia. What? What is Entropia? Entropia could have very easily dominated this list with just how many insanely expensive things have been sold in this game. I've While never heard of this. of motherships can go for up to $9,000, the real value is in owning virtual land. Is this Twin No Man's Peak Sky? Shopping mall? 35 grand. Oh, so you can buy... Dude, this is the metaverse! A moon known as Monria? Nearly 95,000. <laughs> but the most notable ones oh are those God. only the massively wealthy can cash confetti their way into I owning. I want to buy a fucking Whereas moon! Whereas the Crystal Palace Space Station will run you about 150,000 bucks, the famous resort Club Never Die will cost you well over $600,000 to own. Shut the fuck up. Nobody's going to buy that. This is a game I've never heard of. And it's nobody's buying that. They're just setting the price there and hoping one day some whale finds it. All right, maybe you can't afford a virtual moon, but maybe you could afford the top 10 rarest Funko Pop figures that might make you rich. If you come across these in the wild, you may be shocked to find out how much you can earn. Number 10. Easy Bus Street. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Freddy Funko. Glow in the dark. Times so is Freddy Funko like their their the main guy? Is, is he like their uh, I've beyond. never Funko mascot. Okay. So the cool. Universe of five so brand. cool, man. My favorite Funko character for sure. Number nine. Boba Fett Freddy Funko. Are these Red all Freddy hair. Funkos? Number eight. Apollo Creed Freddy Funko. No bruises? <laughs> you need a pristine one without bruises? Why do they make two different ones? He didn't. He didn't lose the fight. He won Bruises. the fight. Can care. Where the I would want. Oh, I see. This one's fucked up. Damaged goods. Freddy Apollo the Creed is black. Okay, but they're not gonna put. You would be madder if they made Freddy Funko black. If they made Freddy Funko black faced, we'd be just as mad. That's not Apollo Creed. That's Freddy Funko. Number seven, <laughs> Frankenberry Freddy Funko. Is it all Freddy Funko? Is it all Freddy Funko? You think all the way through? Better so not be Freddy Funko. Collectors wallets, maybe it's Venom Freddy Funko. I can't believe this. One of these is not Freddy Funko. Number five, <laughs> Clown Dumbo. Five Freddy Funkos in a row into Clown Dumbo. I would have never expected. This is like the salt and pepper diner story. The next one's definitely going to be Freddy Funko. Disney icon. The next one's going to be Freddy Funko. Up for a circus performance. All right, how much for Dumbo? For Cute. As one of the Mouse House's oldest animated characters, this lovable elephant has the unique feature of appealing to a wide generation of audiences. That's not true. Which Everybody I know hates Dumbo. The blame for it. Dumbo's price may end up flying as high as he does. Okay, but how much is he? Wait, does this... I haven't listened to a single thing about the numbers. I don't know any of the... So they're not even saying how much they're worth. They're just saying it might be worth a lot. The next one's Freddy Funko. Number four. Sign metallic Wait. gold and chrome Stan Lee Pop. Oh, shit. To get your hands on one of these, you need a thick wallet. The stars to align... Jesus Christ! The power of, not to be confused with the classic red metallic superhero variant that also fetches a pretty penny. That one looks this pretty good. I kind of like that one. figures are among some of the rarest pops in existence There's nowadays. only 10 of them? Only this is only number four. Exist. I found the clown Dumbo for $18 Canadian? No way. $9. But, but it's out of stock, though. This one says 7 I mean, it might be valuable. Number three. 
<laughs> Jamie Lannister, Freddie Funko. Okay. Bloody. And there this he is time, again. Funko's mascot is, is it headed not to enough Westeros, to just have the and character? The results are a, as well as a unique blood spattered pattern on the pop, made for a perfect storm of fervid oh fan interest. God. This doesn't mean anything. You could set the price at anything. Nobody's going to buy it. You can make a bid or an offer. Yeah, it's not with the same. Freddie Funko. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is number one a Freddie Funko? I'm going to say no. I don't think so. I think that's too obvious. Number and one has to be something to unique. Something totally you unique. Never before be seen. Surely. Videos. Number one. Signed Alex DeLarge. Oh. Compared uh, to some of the biggest brands on the planet, <laughs> classic literature doesn't seem like it would it? be that big of a draw. <laughs> the but this exclusive release. Yeah, that guy's a shithead. That guy's not a good person. Why would you Brian want that one? Audience. Oh my Even god! The listing is a fool's errand, and that's before churning out the twenty-five thousand dollars it's currently worth. With that kind of money, how much? Before churning out the twenty-five thousand dollars it's currently worth. With that kind of money, you could just buy the book. Or <laughs> he's spinning. You could, if you had twenty five thousand dollars, you could buy the book. I think you could afford it. Not a good list. All right, last movie. So uh, maybe you you don't want any Funko Pops, and you don't want to spend money on real things in games. D but maybe you. I don't know how to segue this. These are the top ten legal things you could do in America that are banned in other countries. Number 10, weird baby names. Huh? You can name people weird baby names in other countries, like Bjergsen. In contrast, some other countries have strict laws. For example, you reportedly can't name your kid Batman in Australia. <laughs> or panties, or lol, spinach, or circumcision. Aww. Literally 1984. Why can't I name my little my little boy Cirky? <laughs> Then he could start on his own his own family bloodline. Cirky Jr., Cirky the Third. Why not? You can't name your son Batman? All the good ones. You can't Denmark give babies dog names. That's what I'm learning. Their law on personal names requires residents to choose from a pre-approved list that includes 18,000 names for boys and 22,000 names for girls. A fucking list? Are you so you can't invent a name? We're going to run out of names one day. Overpopulation is going to get so big that we're not going to be able to use every name. I'll name him Bruce Wayne then. <laughs> I think you could get around that. Just make sure the doctor doesn't catch you. If the doctor catches you, you're going to jail. Number seven, baby walkers. Baby walkers allow infants to walk before they've developed the ability to do so on a system. Yeah. However, some studies have found that the devices actually delay development. And they also really? cause quite a few injuries. In the U.S., they're responsible for a few thousand emergency room visits a year. Really? see what's in front of them. Due to safety concerns, the sale of baby walkers has been banned huh. in Canada since 2004. It's also illegal to own one. People who own baby walkers can be fined up to 100,000 Canadian dollars or even jailed for six months. Damn! That's kind of interesting. It makes sense. Save her. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. You, We never had one. We had something that she would stand in, but she couldn't walk around on it. But that's kind of interesting. Guess who just freed his dad from Canadian prison? I thought it would teach Number them. Number six, but, okay. Valentine's Day. What? It's a day for people to celebrate <laughs> their love for one. These cringy-ass lonely countries. Oh, do not give anybody a Valentine. Where is my Valentine? No one loves France. In Pakistan... The Islamabad High Court has banned public celebrations of the holiday. There have also been crackdowns in Saudi Arabia, although it's gaining more acceptance. We have Why? Two I think I know the answer, but... The biggest reason has been the idea that it conflicts with Islamic culture and that it represents a Western tradition. Number three, ah, okay. bounty hunters. What? That's real? I thought I always thought this was like a fictional thing. I didn't know you could actually be a bounty hunter. Like, I know that people call themselves bounty hunters, but I always thought that that was a term that, like, if you are a police detective, you are a bounty hunter or something. You know what I mean? I always thought it was, like, legitimized through, like, institutions. Does that make sense? Not, like, individuals, like Captain fucking Falcon. When someone is charged with a crime and gets out on bail, it's essentially a contract binding the individual to return to court at a later date. In the United States, a defendant can hire a bail bondsman to put up the money for bail. 
Should the defendant run, the bondsman can employ a bounty hunter to track them down. <laughs> the state places a bounty on a man's head. I track that man. I find out. That That's man. so I cool. That after. That's crazy and so neat, but also psychotic. That is all at once the most insane thing I've ever heard, but also the most like Wild West bullshit. I, I, there's something about that. That's neat to me. Get a bounty on your head. You can do it for content. They're not going to kill you, right? If I commit like a petty crime and then I have to go to jail and I don't go to jail and then I get a bounty on me, that's a video. How long can I evade capture? And then I go to jail for like a month and then I have a million view video. What's the e the lightest crime you can do to get a bounty on you? Littering? No. I'm not going to get a fucking bounty for littering. And if I do, my bounty hunter is going to be a pussy. I want, like, a real, like, somebody who's going to be intimidating. Otherwise, I can't clickbait it, you know? Hunters aren't subject to the same legal restrictions as official law enforcement. Oh, my God. Giving them advantages otherwise unavailable. Although they were common worldwide for many years, they're now considered illegal virtually everywhere but the U.S. <laughs> oh He's gotten God. all of them so far. It's also a major reason why American bounty hunters have no jurisdiction outside their own country. But none of them are rich, right? Do you think there's a rich bounty hunter? Like, nobody's good enough or does this enough to be, like, a fucking millionaire, right? Dog? That doesn't count. He has a TV show. He didn't get rich from bounties. He got rich from doing bounties on a TV show. The reality show. Number one is... Owning a gun? Yeah, but it's not banned in every country or most of the world, right? Number one. Plastic bag. Eat shit. You guys were wrong. The 21st century has seen a rise in movies Not even close. more eco-friendly culture. Way Mr. off the McKay mark. That... Bro, okay, so every time I go to California, they ask me if I would like a bag. And then they say paper or plastic. And then they charge me money for it. What the fuck is going on over there? We don't have that over here on the East Coast. Montgomery County does that shit and that's why I moved. Yeah, I gotta pay a nickel every single time? That's exhausting. Coney, you're rich. It's only a dime. A dime now? It was a nickel last I saw. Reuse your bags? Come on. It's baked into the cost of the items. Get reusable bags. No. When I'm buying, if I buy, like, pasta sauce, I'm paying for the pasta sauce and the margins of the store to buy the bags. Just give me the bag. If it's only a dime, you shouldn't have problems parting with it, right? Coney single-handedly killing the planet. With a fucking plastic bag? Let me have any ounce of joy in my life. Please, for the love of God, make it easy for me to carry food to and from my car and no further and then throw the bag away. That's not even true. I use it for dog poop. So actually, I am saving the planet. I'm reusing. Mm. Yep. I'm, I'm doing my part. I'm cleaning up. Seen in virtually every supermarket and convenience store, the world has slowly been moving to reduce the use of these bags. Damn. 131 times? Many countries have outright banned them, while others have imposed taxes or surcharges on the use What's... of the bags in an effort to encourage the use of reusable ones. A few states and cities have joined in, but by and large, the U.S. remains a safe haven for the throwaway sacks. I have a plastic grocery bag filled with plastic grocery bags that I will bring back to the grocery store one day. Me too! Except I use them for dog poop. <laughs> this is literally my house. This is literally me. I do that. Every time I take the dogs out, I lean in under the sink and I grab one of these. It's the American way. I'm one guy. There's 10 billion people on the earth. What am I supposed to do? If I alone can kill the planet, it's not a very strong planet. And also, what a thing on my resume, right? I did that. Okay, anyway, that's Watch Mojo. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Subscribe. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what everybody else says? Well, maybe everybody else is right. If we all band together, we can kill the planet even faster.